Right now, we've got a, a, a pretty messy situation in the ketone sphere in terms of because all of a sudden with the science of ketones coming up and um, all that, all these ketone products have come onto the market. Yeah, let me talk yeah, briefly want... about uh, what I call science hijacking. So there's something that's going on where there are a, a four or five companies that don't have the ketone ester. The ketone ester is technically d beta hydroxybutyrate otherwise known as free acid bound to as an ester the word ester is important bound to r13 butane diol and veach did that because drug companies do this as well they make an ester bond to help enter into the bloodstream and cross the blood brain barrier more readily the ester is important and some companies now are just taking uh you know ketone salts or half of that equation, either just the free acid or just the R13. And yeah, it'll raise your blood ketones some, but it, it, it's not the same thing. So they're, they're all pointing to the science of, look at what ketones can do. No, no, it's look what ketone ester can do and look at what maybe our product, you know, might do a fraction of that, if anything, but they're, they're stealing the science. And the other thing that they're doing is confusing people. I never use the phrase, drink this drink and in 15 minutes 30 minutes 60 minutes you'll be in a state of ketosis like I, I hate that phrase because the consumer hears that and they think they think of ketosis as fat burning whether technically chemistry whether that is correct or not doesn't matter that's what the consumer hears when they hear ketosis so they think that you're drinking the drink and it is triggering fat burning and it doesn't do that so i like to say it skips the <laughs> fat burning and and we have a a, a chart of all of our products and what they can do you know before bed or post workout and then there's one line that says weight loss and i love it just has a red x is all across it like it will not burn fat for you no matter what the other companies say the expectation is you can eat a cake you can drink this drink and check your ketones and wow i'm burning fat even though i just ate a cake and it just doesn't work like that way at all so i don't like saying ketosis i will say that it mimics some of the benefits of ketosis but then i like to say except for the fat burning part the part that you're probably caring about the most so that part is is pretty confusing and it's hard to uh break apart people's expectations because they'll see those ads and then they'll come to the ketone ester and they'll know that ketone ester is better so then they take all those false claims and expectations and then come over to my product and then say uh you know i ate a cake but then in the and i had ketones in my blood but the next morning i still weighed more what happened it didn't work and i was just like just not even close to how all of this works so um so so yeah there's different ingredients i'm with you frank 100 percent. we like to say different ketones different results so this other molecule the r13 butane dial uh is half of the ketone ester so it gets into the system then the system breaks it apart with enzymes and you have the fast release of the beta hydroxybutyrate ketones the same molecule that your body makes a free acid acid's important and then the r13 butanediol r just means the chirality of the it's not purity it's a that you're it's 100 bioavailable the r form of 13 butanediol goes through the liver and converts back into ketones the, the free acid so it's a fast release and a slow release so i asked dr veach why this 4x expense if not six times more expensive, making this bond if you can just give 25% more of the R13. And his answer was epic. He said the mice were stumbling, the mice were drunk. So he threw yeah. out that molecule as a solution by itself. And I ran off and filed a patent for what I now market as hard ketones. So the hard ketones is just the R13 butane dial. But to give you some perspective on just effect, we put 17 grams of the R13 in one of these cans, and we say drink one or two. On a per serving basis of the ketone ester, it's 2.5 grams of ketone ester. So 2.5 grams versus 17, it's just, just drastically different. And one gives you a buzz, while one gives you mental clarity and sharpness. But other companies are coming out and saying, oh, look, it'll raise your blood ketone. So it's the same thing. Yeah, but you're going to be you're going to be buzzed, which is great if you're trying to get off of alcohol or you're trying to relax at the end of the day and you don't want to take, you know, weed or something. 
it's an amazing molecule for that but we put on the can not for sport but other people are taking shortcuts and they're like look ketones are great and they throw this ingredient into their drink and they say that you should go take your LSATs with it I'm like you're just it, it's not good <laughs>